name is Jada, and th it's the the week of January twenty second. Let's start the week off right with some delicious lunch choices. Sarah, what is on the menu today? This week's choices include money Monday crispy chicken nuggets, Tuesday corn dog, Wednesday Italian cheese sandwich, Thursday popcorn chicken bowl, and Friday sloppy joe on a bun. Each day will each day there will be a second choice option of ham lunchable for those who don't like the first choice. Another week worth of delicious choices that we can always count on. The weather on the other hand maybe is another story. Let's get this week forecast forecast to see if there is anything interesting on the You all will be happy to know that the temps are on the rise for this week. Looks like things will settle in the high settle in the high twenties and low thirties for the majority of the week. It might be a little cloudy out there where chance of snow on Tuesday but at least we should fi finally be able to get outside for some recess back. I'm happy to get out for some fresh air after a week of being cooped up in indoors. That is great news. I just need to make sure I carve out a little time to get in reading of the week. I have to make sure my AR goal so I can learn some extra or earn some extra snowballs. I have a few doors I have my eye on. I wonder if Miss K has any more advice on this front. Let's get the the scoop. Uh, in the library update. Well, my lovely readers, it is the middle of January. We just got done with a really frigid week, and hopefully, that let you enough time to be inside and you know, reading your books, which you should be doing. All right, so I still see snowballs flying, but man, some of my friends just don't have enough on their doors yet. You need to keep in stepping it up. We have a week and a half left of our snowball fight, so make sure if you got a plan and you're putting it into action because we need to make sure that we are throwing those snowballs. Now, if you make your goal, remember, then you have two choices. Choice number one is to take a snowball off your door and throw it on somebody else's door. Choice number two is to go ahead and throw two snowballs at somebody else. Your choice, but remember that's after you make your goal. All right, guess what else I got in the mail today? I got this, look at that, it's coming. So. Again, the middle of February, when you have parent-teacher conferences, book fair will be here. So we'll be getting that ready. So that'll all start coming home to make sure you start planning on attending the book fair. There's some really cool books coming. I'm so excited about it because then we get new books to the library. The more you spend, the more we get books. So it's a good deal. So all I can say, keep reading. It's gonna be a little nicer next week. Hopefully, we'll be good to go. So have a great week. So keep on reading. Speaking of special reports, we need to get this week ha week's habit. Let's explore thinking and communicating the cl clarity and precision. Roll the clip. is thinking and communicating with clarity and precision. So this means being very precise with our communication, avoiding exaggerations or understatements, being clearly understood. It 
It means to include important details without having too many details. What this might sound like is when a teacher clarifies what you will need to know to successfully complete the task. Or if you say, I understand what you are saying. What this looks like is facing one another, using eye contact, nodding to show that you understand. And what it feels like is that the person provided me with enough information so that you could clearly understand what they were saying. So many habits to explore. Each one has its very own importance. More to come on the habits next week. Until then, let's get the reminders. Reminders include, reminder that after school is back in session. And it will run through the month of February. Boot camp information will be coming out soon for grades three through six. Although this week will be warmer, please make sure to dress for the weather. Girls Who Code will be, is coming up on January 25th for those who signed up. The spelling bee will be this Friday for those who have qualified in grades five through eight. Vision, vision and hearing screens is on the 30th. Don't forget to bring your glasses and wear them. Thanks for, or thanks Sierra before. We wrap it up. We have had some extra special extra special guests in the building last Friday. Let's meet just a few of those for a moment. I am here with a few of our wax museum guests. Do you mind if I ask you both a few questions? Yes. What is your name? Alexander Hamilton. Dolly Parton. What are you best known for? My working country music. My writing. What advice can you give to our elementary students? Have fun. And be kind. Thank you for your willingness to share with us. We are so glad we got to meet you. I better get back to take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. a great way to end our broadcast. Thanks for turning in. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance on the count of three. One, two, three.